Today we're diving into the world of ASRV to answer the biggest questions that you have about how they make their money. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Can you believe that someone would buy $118 shorts? We'll uncover the marketing and design strategies revealing what works and what to stay away from. Chris and I will be sharing tips and scoring each other in this epic showdown. The winner gets to share an embarrassing photo of the loser, and here is the kicker. The loser, this one right here, has to give away a free strategy call to one lucky person in the comments, so don't forget to leave a comment down below. Now, let's start with the good. When it comes to any sort of e-commerce clothing store, it's, it's imperative that you have a good size guide, a good place where people can actually know and feel and truly, I mean, feel as better as, as best as they can how this item actually fits. And that's the really good on this website. There is multiple places where measurements, for example, it has like, like a cool graphic, right? It has a cool like sort of wireframe of the actual product. And then it has an actual, you know, size guide in there. But beyond that, there's also a find your size with fit finder where you literally type in your information um, and how much do you weigh uh, and then your belly shape, depending on what item it is, how old you are, and then uh, how do you prefer your your little garments to, to be, either tighter or looser, and then it will give you, oh, actually this is new. When I did it earlier, it didn't ask me for brands that I normally wear, but let's just say Nike, so it's recommended me a size large. So actually it even asked me for different brands and what typical sizes do I wear for Nike long joggers, wow. um, and it gave me like the best fit that you can do for these particular shorts. Uh, and it says 75% of customers actually are happy with this uh, selection. 61% are also happy with the extra large. So it's a just a good, great way to really try to find your best fit. And there's a little bonus too, in the description, uh, they have the model is wearing the size, whatever, and, and it gives you the specifications of that model. All right, so I'm also gonna go over the good, but I'm gonna go over multiple things because I wanna say the, the marketing has several things that they're doing really well. So I wanna look at the messaging, I want to look at the ads that they're actually running and then something that was really cool is and we'll also by by the way we'll need to pause do i need to record from my phone for the last part of it so we'll pause that okay timing wise but all right so let's go over to the ads one thing that i wanted to to point out though is that page, page change transparency you can actually see that they were a little confused on their brand maybe that's a bad thing that maybe we'll talk about a little bit later but they had no clue about their naming but what they are doing really well is the ads that they're running are all very specific to the type of content that they're creating everywhere else. I think this is actually something we'll talk about a little bit later and maybe a bad thing, but it's consistent with their brand on their site that Christian just mentioned. I think it's also a good visual for me as far as the creative to see the ad and then congruency with messaging to go to that site and then everything kind of looks uniform, which you don't always see. But they're just doing some product DPA, so display product ads, which is good. The videos, but they're pretty interesting. I don't know if we can play some of the music. But they did a lot of animations, which catches my attention. They have this vest, which I think is probably the most intriguing part. I really don't know what it is, but it's enough that it's intriguing um, throughout. All right, so the next thing I want you to look at, though, is the good part, and this is over on their app. They actually have an app, so let me show you this really quickly. Okay, so what's really cool about this app is that not only the products, I think that's kind of annoying, whatever, Nike has this as well, but they have a mindset, so they really go across all their messaging, and it's like in-depth articles about the mindset of the type of person who would buy these clothes, and I was really intrigued with this, and it made me actually get into the app. Now, let's talk about the bad. The bad it's pretty bad and you know, there's no sort of upsell or cross sell anywhere on this website which i think is just the biggest room for opportunity here i think the only thing that really it's happening is when you scroll all the way down you're on a product page you see the you may also like um, but even that right there uh, it's something that as a store owner you can actually manipulate and change some of the products so they're not the exact same product that you're looking at right here just with different colors i already have the color options up here i don't need to see the color options down here at the same time so even manipulating this would be better than nothing so recommendation number one download the search and discovery app and then change some of these products so you actually have some more complementary products if you will and then the other thing is right within here the product information section you could also just have this exact same section down here uh, right over there where this item pairs well with and you can actually hand select certain items that will 
this shirt will go really good with. I mean, the model is already wearing two different items right here from your brand. So it's just a matter of incorporating that into the product information system. That's also something free that you can do with that search and discovery app. So you have to add any additional apps. Now, the last thing, and this is probably also one of the most important ones is the add to cart. The add to cart is just the most basic, simple add to cart. There is no other product recommendations or upsells or cross sells happening right here in the cart. Obviously I had some other products in here, so I'll remove those, but uh, this is pretty blank. You know, as if someone adds one product to their cart, uh, there should be able to do some upsells, do some cross sells and incentivize them uh, to either reach free shipping or whatever that may be uh, right here within the cart. So those are things that you can actually implement right away. Uh, you don't need to, you know, do any other Shopify templates or themes or anything like that right now. All right. So I talked a little bit about the messaging and how I think it's so good. It actually is a hindrance to them and it's what it, it went too far, but I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive or counter, um, but if you look at their TikTok, it's great. It has a lot of views. It has a lot of things that the, the content is good. It's actually almost too good. I think what's an issue with the brand throughout with that messaging is that it assumes, right? And I may resonate with this person because I see myself as this type of runner or this type of person. They may only be going after this specific group or person where they're already in shape. They're already amazing at what they do. They do all these things, but everybody loves rock. I've been watching a lot of Rocky right now, but everybody loves the hero's journey where they started. They maybe were at the top, they, they were overweight or they didn't know how to run or they didn't know how to lift or they didn't know how to fight or whatever it is and then went through that process. They need user-generated content of people who are real. There's nothing on their TikTok that's user-generated content that doesn't look like it was already professionally done, somebody's already in shape, that's already going to that next level. And it's frustrating for me as a consumer because I'm like, well, I may want to get into boxing someday, but I don't know how to knock people out right now, or I don't know how to run a five minute mile or whatever that may be. And so there's nothing here that talks about that journey. It's just, here's put in the work and it's very branded. It looks very nice, but it seems like they're almost out of touch with who their end consumer is, which isn't always the high end performer. Because I think that what Christian mentioned earlier, the products will show the high end but they're missing the people who want the aspirations because when I looked at their app, they have a whole tab for motivation. People need that motivation, but they also need to be able to visually see it as well. So I think they're killing it with the app, but they are not doing it visually with their content. And that would be done with a really good use of their content, getting those aspirational people to take action. Last but not least, the ugly. Now, the ugly, I mean, it could go back and forth with the bad, really. Uh, there's nothing really ugly, right, about this website. Everything's very clean. Photography is just on point. Um, but I will say that there is, I guess, even the main idea for the brand has to do around technology, right? Around technology with fabric, around technology with new garments, around technology of the functionality of each of these uh, apparel items. I think the website is missing the mark when it comes to really talking about that technology. And let me just give you an example here. There is a full tab at the very top where it says tech and you actually click on it um, and it takes you to all these sort of trademarked materials that they're using for their products, right? And you see highlights and exactly what it is. Solucell, Kintera, uh, Hypora. Like they have some really cool names and yeah, all trademark registered. Um, and it kind of shows a little bit of, of what the highlights of this, you know, that looks a waterproof right there, breathable, etc. But then when you go to the actual product page, the most important page where people are actually making a decision to add to cart or not, uh, there's only a little drop down tab where it talks a little bit about a little paragraph right there on that particular thing and there is no other place here on the product page and that's what i would do i would definitely after all the product information right here add more sections on the highlights of the product and you're showcasing it with the the pictures but talking about it what is it uh velcro velcro on the sleeves so they're resizable sleeves uh you know weather proof like show me that there's water on this garment um, to show that it is, you know, where the bruise waterproof, et cetera. So adding all that information, the tech back into the product page, it's going to do wonders for conversion. All right. So in business, the number one way to increase profit is through email and SMS. This is the area that is the ugly piece for me. They have focused so much on the content created. I will give them the kudos. I think that's the good. I think we talked a lot about the good thing. The ugly part is that if I go over here, so 
for those who do or do not know, the immediate email after signing up is something that is designed and it doesn't change too often, which means you have the ability to create even more than what you would normally. To me, this is just a hero image. Thank you so much for joining us. Shop this stuff. Here's some stuff you may like. It's very clunky. They could actually, to Christian's point earlier, is they could pull in stuff for technology. They could pull in other things. They could have user generated content. They could have different call to actions, but it's literally like, here's a product line. Here's the app. Here's a bunch of stuff, but there's nothing that really sets them out or it really, I don't know, looks visually appealing to like what I would want to do when I went to the site. So that's part one. One thing for the SMS, I, you have to choose the why to accept it, everything else. But the very first message I'm going to get, it's one that is specific and it's one that is just it is redone over and over again it should be an image to me the brains that actually send me a picture so yeti does a good job of this nothing related to clothing but they do a really good job of sending the images when it actually matters to me this product the visual if i just signed up on my phone or whatever else if i'm if they're going to take me to this they're telling to tell me to their screen collection i want a nice image so it's the details within the email and sms where i think that they're lacking a lot if they increase that, they're going to increase profit and then they can actually start to scale the brand. So email and SMS, that's the ugly part of this brand right now. And don't forget, we're going to review the actual product. We actually ordered some product in, so uh, stick around for that. Oh yeah, lady. All right, first off, uh, there's no brand. Well, they, there's colors, but they were established. Well, even, well, even these colors, um, they, I, don't, I don't remember seeing these colors on anywhere online. I mean, it's just a little, but established Queen FC is no actual name in the ASRB. Probably because they changed their name so many times, they didn't want to waste the packaging. This is the packaging from 28 D. The face never wavered. Ooh, yeah, that's a bad thing here. Hit me with the price first. I hate that. That out of the body. Ooh. Okay. A little bit beat up. This is beat up. Lens, no, it's pretty crisp. It's got one little crease there, but I do have the, I do like the matte finish there. Oh, there's a load. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it uh, whenever you open it. All right. How are you? Yeah, this, this feels nice. Very stretchy. This is not what I expected. It's actually a material I've never felt. Feel that that's, I've never felt a material like that on shorts. All right. Well, cool. here you have it. Uh, I got a tank and I got some shorts. Well, the tag is pretty nice. Like, this is like, I follow the tag. This is one of our video for Franklin. Details are nice. Says uh, this is odor eliminating, so perfect for working out, I guess. I guess the biggest question is we need to try these on to see if their size guide was actually a good size guide. Yeah, I'm not gonna try this on right now, but uh, yeah. Oh, this one, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, this one has like a pattern, and when you stretch it, you see a little diamonds. Oh, that's cool. I also like that it's not one of those tags you have to rip off. It's like, I just easily took this off. And then there's a paper clip that I take everything out with. Oh, so they got a spot here for breathability. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to do the scoring and tally this up. And the winner is Christian. <laughs> wow, he might. No balls, mine. Anyway, uh, ranking the store, I would say probably a, a six. I would give it an eight, just because the quality material once I finally received it was actually good. Now, what, is it worth that price point? Well, technically, uh, you're about to see Aaron's uh, embarrassing picture, so I'm excited for that. I don't know what it is yet, but it's gonna be coming. <laughs> Wait till Christian loses. I have way more photos of him. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. All right, and if you like this video, make sure you go watch this next video on cuts right here down below.